had 16 more days of school left. You excited? Yes, Sam. But first things first, we have to finish off senior year strong. So hang in there, NHS, because we're getting some news coming at you. Tonight's the night for the NHS Film Fest. The Film Fest will be at 5 p.m. in the LGI room. Come out and support your fellow filmmaking peers. Attention all those interested in Color Guard, the current NHS Color Guard team has a message for you. This is gospel for the The Nobleville High School Dance Color Guard class is preparing for their Mayfest performance. On Saturday, May 16th, you can see a preview of their performance during AL on Friday, May 15th. Come support these young ladies as they are exploring color guard and dance basics. Hear great music and great routines choreographed by the class and individuals in the class. It is going to be an exciting performance. We hope that positive students will come out and see the, the girls. See any dance color guard member for a pass. For more information, see Mr. Thornberry in the NHS band room. Seniors in IAL, don't forget that your final IAL deadline is this Friday, May 15th by midnight. Failure to earn 10 points for IAL assignments will result in the removal of IAL for the rest of the semester, including during final exams. If you have any questions, please see Miss May or Miss G. On Thursday, May 21st, 12 students will have face-off in a segment of Family Feud. To help participate, you can log on to your Gmail and answer the survey questions that will be used in the competition. There will also be a raffle for several prizes such as Mary Kay baskets, each for a girl and a guy, coupons for free games at Cooper's Stardust Bowl, and last but definitely not least, a $25 Visa gift card. Tickets for the show are $1 and raffle tickets are $1 for $1, 3 for $2, and 10 for $5. It's for a great cause, so come on out on Thursday, May 21st at 1.35. Attention Class of 2017, 21st Century Scholars Planning Sessions are available for sophomores is May 19th during AL. Please read your email message in Canvas for details. If you have questions or need additional information, please contact Ms. Bolton. Well, that's all we have, NHS. One step closer to graduation. But first, birthdays, lunches, and sports. Okay, Kaylee, let's make this quick and painless. Sports. The three versus three basketball tournament benefiting the Special Olympics will be this week. Tournament games are Monday, May 11th and Wednesday, May 13th during AL. Purchase tickets for $1 for Monday's games on sale or on sale Mon May 8th and May 11th and $1 for Wednesday's games on sale May 12th through the 13th. All proceeds go to benefit Special Olympics in Indiana. NHS's girls track team participated in the Hamilton County track meet last Friday night. They placed fourth of the eight teams that participated. Outstanding performers were the four by eight team of Abby Crouch, Abby Little, Megan Line, and Susanna Sharples Gordon, who made a state best time of nine minutes and 24 seconds. Other all county athletes were Mallory Barton, Hope Dullen, Drew Palmer in the throws, Lily Walter, Charity Yaden, Amy Stivers, and Maddie Helslut along with Dylan Palmer and Alex Anderson in the field events. Good job, ladies, and good luck tonight at the Hoosier Crossroad Conference track meet. The boys' track team also took on the county on Friday night. The boys finished tying Fishers for third place. A huge congrats goes to Jake Owens, who won four of his events and became the athlete of the night. Other outstanding performances came from Dante Wells, Cole Martin, Max Runnigan, and Jack Lane. Congrats, boys, and good luck at HCC. Over the weekend, your NHS boys volleyball JV1 and JV2 played in the Carmel Tournament. 
JV2 beat the Carmel Greyhounds. JV1 finished the weekend with one win. Varsity plays Southport tonight, and they have regionals Friday at East Middle School, so make sure to come out and support your boys. The boys' varsity lacrosse team took a trip up to South Bend to take on Penn on Saturday and Laporte on Sunday. The boys lost 9-6 against Penn and dominated Laporte 14-0. The boys face conference rivals Westfield on Wednesday at home at 8, so be there or be square. That was fast. Yes, it was. Peace, NHS. Mark. Carly. Mark. Kay Hala. That's been the debate this crazy week at Noblesville High School. Current juniors Mark DaCosta and Carly Hollis are going head-to-head -head in the battle for senior class president. Mark gives input on why he chose to be in the running. But I want to be the one to make us as a grade rally together and like really be something for our senior year and change our reputation before we leave NHS. While Mark's goal is to bring us together as a class, Carly, on the other hand, has had past experience. I am running for senior class president because this will be my fourth year going into student government. And being a leader and having a leadership role has always been really important to me in kind of every aspect of my life. On the topic of change at NHS, Mark explains that organization is key. I want to take in our grades' desires into consideration when I make decisions, but also just have a lot more coordination than I feel like didn't happen in past years. So. While organization is important, Carly wants to focus on friendships with her peers. And I really want to be like that person that people feel comfortable going to and being able to talk to or being able to help anyone, not even the senior class, but everyone at Noblesville, really, and be able to help them in any way that I can. Current senior class president Lori Summers gives advice to running candidates. Um, I would just say to be prepared to have a lot of duties, um, especially at the end of the year. It's kind of stressful, but you also have to represent your class well as a senior class president. The candidates have one last message. Okay, Hala 2016. No. Vote for Mark DaCosta because he's the Chico you want to keep, Bo. For NHS News, this is Kirsten Hampton and Katie Gump. I'm Jason, uh, I'm the Director of Field Operations for the Hamilton County Habitat for Humanity affiliate. On May 5th, three students were finalists for Habitat for Humanity. Students Richard Skaggs, Haley Lovell, and Cayman Baldridge all qualified for their design to possibly be picked by Habitat for Humanity. Countless hours were spent by all three students in and out of the classroom. This is why Jason Haney and the Choosing Board had such a difficult choice to make when picking the winner. I did have a, I had a hand in it. Yeah, as a team, uh, our staff came together, looked at all the plans, we narrowed it down to three finalists, which was very difficult. Only be one winner for the contest, and that winner was Richard Skaggs. Notable educational authorities such as Principal Bryant, Maureen Cook, and Beth Niedermeyer showed up to congratulate Skaggs on his success and witness Noblesville get one step closer to the Miller shift. Beauty that they're doing this and they're connecting high school students to be able to connect what we do in class to the community and help other people. For NHS News, this is Quinn Schlegel, Allie Beaver, Amy Miles, 